meet my cousin one horse Thermic right as we went walking down by the seaside Now mark what followed and what did the tide For it be an on Christmas morning Out for recreation we went on a tramp And we met Sergeant Napper and Corporal Lamp and a little wee drummer intending to camp for a day being pleasant and charming. Good morning, good morning, the captain he cried, and the same to you gentlemen we did reply. Intending no harm, but we meant to pass by for it being on Christmas morning. But says he, my fine fellows, if you will enlist, it's ten guineas of gold that I'll slip in with this, and a crown in the bargain for to kick up the dust and drink the king's health in the morning. For a soldier, he leads a very fine life, and he always is blessed with a charming young wife, and he pays all his debts without sorrow or strife, and he always lives pleasant and charming, and a soldier, he always is decent and clean, in the finest of clothes, and he's constantly seen, while other poor fellows grow dirty and mean, and sup on thin gruel in the says Arthur I wouldn't be proud of your clothes for you've only the land of them as I suppose and you dare not to change them one night for you know if you do you'll be flogged in the morning and although that we are single and free we take great delight in our own company and we have no desire to Strange places to see, although that you offer us are charming. And we have no desire to take your advance. All hazards and dangers will barter on chance. For you'd have no scruples but to send us to France, where we would get shot without warning. Ah, oh, now, says the captain, I'll have no such chat, and I neither will take it from spalking or brat. For if you insult me with one other word, well, I'll cut off your heads in the morning. And Arthur and I, we soon drew our hods, and we scarce gave them time for to draw their own blades. When a trusty shillelagh came over the heads and bade them take that as fair warning. And their own rusty rapiers that hung by their side, well, we flung them as far as we could in the tide. Now take them out, devils, cried Arthur McBride, and temper the edge in the morning. And the little wee drummer we flattened his pow, and we made a football of his rowdy dow dow. Tossed it in a tide for to rock and to roll, and bade it a tedious returning. And we having no money, paid them off in cracks, and we pay ye no respect to their two bloody packs. But we lathered them there like a pair of wet sacks, and left them for dead in the morning. And so to conclude and to finish disputes, we obligingly asked if they wanted recruits. For we were the lads who would give them hard clouts and bid them look sharp in the morning.
follow and what did the tide for it being on Christmas morning?